Hello everyone. So today we start with our new lecture on side-to-side uh, -side VPN, okay, in FortiGate Firewall. So as you can see on my screen that this is the topology where I take this is my uh, LAN network from uh, from my headquarters site, okay. So I name the firewall as FortiNet One, and my FortiNet Two is my branch site, okay, and we need to communicate using the tunnel okay so here wire selected management because i'll be getting internet from my wi-fi from where i i am added okay so i'll be receiving the internet okay via port one i can able to access the management as well okay and we are also forming the tunnel via port one as well okay so we'll be performing both the things from the single port okay so as you can see here that i have successfully logged in so my 40 get one as fw1 has ip address 10.30 and my 40 get two has 10.129 okay and i need change the host name of both of the firewall so that uh, so there will be less confusion between uh, configuration okay so let's get started okay so before uh, first what we have to do is that we have to go to vpn okay and we start creating the tunnel okay so click on ipsec tunnel and click on create new and select ipsec tunnel okay so when you select this there is a wizard coming in where you have multiple options to select okay and you also have the option to communicate if for example if both of your different site have different uh, vendors okay for example if your branch site has cisco firewall okay and you need the configuration to set the vpn between the both so you also have the option as well okay so here under template first we have to give as this is our branch site because what we are considering is that our branch our 14 at one is our headquarter and the 14 at two is our branch site okay so we start first as headquarter one okay so here under template type you have types of option that which type of vpn access you need so there is a site to site vpn okay so under that you can also select this and this gives you all the configuration done from the firewall side you do not have to do it if you also select it it can able to work but currently we are performing custom because there are certain encryption and uh, authentication which we can enable it based on the security model we required okay so you know we are using haggle uh, where there are uh, authentication encryption hash uh, defi hellman group and encryption correct so there is a haggle uh, algorithm we are following correct in the ipsec vpn i think you also learned it on your uh, ccna security class okay so we go to custom and just click on next if you click on side to side is also possible everything will be work fine and so but right now for our configuration we are selecting as custom okay so let's select custom click on next okay so when you click on next now this wizard comes in so here you can see that the name has been given now it is asking your ip version okay so we are selecting ipv4 because we have ipv4 now remote gateway is static so there are option as well okay so we are selecting static and we are giving the ip address as 192.168.10.129 okay so why we are giving the ip address of this port correct because we are getting internet uh, on this port port 1 and the ip address is 10.129 so that's where we are connected to firewall 2 okay you can see on the on the link as well 120 192.168.10.129 correct so we select 10.129 okay the interface is port 1 correct you can see this is port 1 okay if you can if you want to enable your local gateway you can also do it we are just working on the default one so that's why we keep it as normal okay net traversal we are not using net t now so we are just disabling it okay and left all the configuration we are keeping it as the same so here when you go on authentication you can have to give the pre-shared key okay so i gave my pre-shared key now the ike version so there are two version you know so we are just performing ike version one 
okay there are two types you know aggressive mode and ma main mode so there's a difference between that that main mode has six messages where they can uh, transfer between the sender and the receiver and aggressive mode has three messages which needs to be transferred correct so we are selecting the main mode okay now the phase one so where they are asking for encryption algorithms so we are selecting DS because as you can see there is single option available for us because uh, we are on the evaluation model right now that's why okay and we select SHA-1 okay so under defi element group these are the defi element groups based on your security uh, you can enable the group as well so currently we are keeping it as default okay the lifetime key you know there is a time in which after that the key has been shared from the sender and the receiver correct so so it's the overall time period given over here it's just the same but just it is all GUI which could be very easier for anyone to do it okay exhort we are not uh, enabling it now now this is phase 2 okay so under phase 2 what they are asking us for local IP address and remote IP address so under local IP address will give our source IP address because we are on firewall 1 okay on headquarter okay and the remote one is this one correct where we want to go so 10.10.10.0 slash 24 and this one is 20.20.20.0 slash 24 okay we gave all this now click on ok okay so when you click on ok everything is configured on the uh, firewall 1 okay the state is showing inactive because we have not configured on the other side as well okay so this is the first step that you have to perform the on the firewall well under wizard you have to perform all the Hegel algorithm okay so we did that now we are uh, heading towards the static routes so go to networks and go give the static routes so here to give the static routes we have to go 20.20.20.0 slash 24 because this is our destination where we want to reach okay the gateway IP address we, we give it as the same and here under interface because we are not heading towards port 1 we are performing a tunnel correct where a private communication will happen from the branch to the headquarter okay so we are selecting the headquarter one because we need that keep everything as default administrate distance and all if you can change it okay it's your wish but keep it as normal click on okay okay so status has been enabled okay so we have also configured the static routes now we have to perform the firewall policy okay so what firewall policy we need is that we need the communication a private communication to be happened between the both okay so click on create new here what we need is that we want to go to headquarter one to our branch site correct as simple as okay so the incoming interface so the traffic it's go via port 3 correct so it's port 3 okay outgoing interface so outgoing interface is port 1 but we have our headquarter because we are forming the tunnel okay that's why we select HQ the source it's up to you if you can give this particular IP address I right now I'm selecting all okay because we have only single LAN so that's why I kept everything as all okay now go to services we are selecting all the services to be allowed and we are not enabling net okay and uh, enable this policy click on okay okay so when you click on okay now you have another option with FortiGate firewall that you know while performing a private communication we have to add two policies one from incoming to outgoing and second is outgoing to incoming okay so there is an option with FortiGate that rather to click on create new and to create another name as from branch to headquarter what we can do is just select this right click here is an option to clone to reverse so when you clone to reverse the same policy has been added but here it's different here uh, here this is from LAN to headquarter now this is headquarter to LAN uh, port 3 correct from our LAN just click on it click on edit now we need is
branch to headquarter one correct keep everything as default just don't forget to enable this okay so we are enabling it okay click on okay so you can see that we have created both the policies so we are done with this particular site okay now we are heading towards a second firewall okay let's go there okay first we go to our VPN click on VPN tunnel click on create new IPsec tunnel okay we are heading towards con uh, from here we need branch one your branch okay we are selecting custom here IPv4 static route so we will give as 192.168.10.130 as the IP address of this particular port one correct interface port one correct now we are disabling net traversal and uh, don't forget to add both the pre-share creates the same key okay if you add difference there could be a mismatch in the Hegel algorithm and you cannot able to set the tunnel okay if for example if on one firewall if you give the IKS version 2 as aggressive mode okay so it's all up to you that on both the side you have to perform the same okay here I selected SHA1 so you also select this okay kept everything as normal okay this has been disabled now from subnet we'll go to 20 dot slash 24 we are heading towards 10 subnet click on ok now networks static routes select the static routes as the destination is 10.10.10.0 here we select our interface as our branch ok click on ok now we go to our firewall policy policy is an object firewall policy ok so here we want to go as branch to headquarter one ok incoming traffic port 3 heading towards the tunnel ok source all destination all services all net is disabled and enable this policy ok just click right click and clone rewards edit headquarter 1 to branch enable this policy net has been disabled click on ok ok now both the policies has been configured we have configured the uh, static routes and the tunnel configuration is also same on both the ends of the firewall now let's start with pinging the device so here win windows 3 is my 10 subnet and windows 4 is my 20 subnet ok 1 2 3 Go to CMD, ping 20.20.20.10. Okay, so you can see here that we can the pack packets are reachable. Okay, towards the 20 subnet. Now we're going to do is we're going to our Windows that side. cmd ping 10.10.10.10 .10 okay so here also the ping is successful uh, I, I, I forgot to show you at the beginning that my my interface configuration so you can see here that on the LAN I gave my IP address as 10.10 .10 okay so now we can see that under IPsec we'll have the packets uh, and what about the events which are performed by the firewall side okay so go to networks go to your dashboard and under this views just select IPsec monitor if not just click on plus button and uh, you can add the IPsec monitor so here you can see that our phases 
all the phase one and phase two both are up okay this headquarter is also showing up just click on it refresh okay so it's showing incoming and outgoing data Okay, so here it's showing the remote gateway IP address, your tunnel 1, tunnel 2, all the informations. Okay, now go to log and report. Go to system events. VPN events. Click on refresh. So here you can see that uh, all the configuration are there in terms of your headquarter 1 because this is your firewall 1 is your headquarter. So this sort negotiation has been done. Okay, negotiation success for the IPsec tunnel. Okay, here you can see the IP address status as success. This is direction as outbound. Okay, then the mode should be quick mode. Progress IPsec phase two. Then this is the log ID, time span, and time zone, initiator, local okay so with the help of this we can identify our vpns detail okay the tunnel details 